evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yandan with Evening News. The headlines. President Draupadi Murmu greets every Indian at home and abroad on the eve of 74th Republic Day. 13th National Voters Day is being celebrated today. News Services Division of All India Radio gets national award for contributions towards voters' awareness. Chief Electoral Officer V. Shashank Shekhar says society in Nagaland is inherently democratic, expresses hope that a true spirit of democracy will manifest in the electoral system. And 901 police personnel will be awarded police medals on the occasion of Republic Day. Now the news in detail. President Draupadi Murmu said from the day the constitution came into effect to the present day, it has been an amazing journey that has inspired many other nations. In her address to the nation on the eve of 74th Republic Day, the president extended heartiest greetings to every Indian at home and abroad. She said every citizen has reason to be proud of the Indian story. When we celebrate the Republic Day, we celebrate what we have achieved together as a nation, she added. Murmu said we will now enter the 75th year as a republic. Stating that India is called the mother of democracy, she said, as a modern republic, the country is young and faced countless challenges and adversities in the early years of independence. The president, however, opined that the spirit of India was undeterred. With hope and confidence, we began an experiment unique in the history of humankind, she said. President Mormon noted that the country has succeeded as a democratic republic and despite many creeds and languages, it has not divided us, but only united us. That is the essence of India, the president said. On the occasion, President Mormon remembered and saluted all the brave hearts of the armed forces, paramilitary forces and police forces who laid down their lives in the line of duty. Murmu also conveyed her blessings to all the children for their bright future. President Draupadi Murmu today said that young voters have the responsibility to raise awareness of the democratic process in the country. Speaking at the 13th National Voters' Day 2023, which was organized by the Election Commission of India in New Delhi, she said that young voters are now actively participating in the election processes, which is a good sign for democracy. The president said that the number of women voters have increased and it is a great achievement, especially for Indian democracy. She added that the government must work to ensure that women participation will increase in future elections. During the event, President Momo also distributed voters' cards to the five youngsters who were going to vote for the first time. Speaking at the event, Union Law Minister Giren Rejiju said that it is a privilege to become voters and people must participate in the election process. He said that people are the reckoning force behind the successful democracy. Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar said trust is the biggest legacy of the commission because it is playing an exemplary role to raise awareness among the voters to participate in the elections. On the occasion, the President also awarded the National Media Award to All India Radio News for carrying out an outstanding campaign for voters' awareness in the education in the electronic media category. Director General of News Services Division of All India Radio, Dr. Vasuta Gupta, received the National Media Award from the President. Nagaland joined the country in celebrating the 13th National Voters' Day today. A state-level celebration program was held at Kohima. Chief Electoral Officer Nagalin V. Shashank Shekhar administered the National Voters' Day Bletch. On the occasion, three villages, namely Nihoku Tizama and Guru Pema Pasa, were felicitated for resolving for a free and fair election. Certificate of commendation were also presented to six best booth-level officers under Kohima district. Besides, winners of the poster with slogan competition were also felicitated. Voter cards were also given to two young first-time voters. Speaking at a program, Chief Electoral Officer V. Shashank Shekhar said, National Voters' Day is a day for all the citizens to remember their rights and responsibilities as voters. He said this day is also an added significance for the state due to the upcoming general election. 
Shekhar on the occasion also recognized and felicitated the efforts of the various stakeholders who have contributed for a better electoral system. He appreciated the three village councils for passing the resolution of a free and fair election, stating that society in Nagalin is inherently democratic that gives face and voice to all section of the society including the common man, the chief electoral officer expressed hope that a true spirit of democracy will manifest in the formal electoral system. The state chief electoral officer, while wishing all a happy Voters' Day, said it looks forward to a free and fair election in the true spirit of democracy. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News On Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. On the occasion of National Voters' Day, Nagaland Chief Minister Nipirio has called upon the citizens to work towards increased voter awareness and informed participation in the electoral process for a stronger and more vibrant democratic system. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Button also encouraged all to celebrate the constitutional values that strengthen our democracy and reminded ourselves of the significance of our participation to create a better society. Button said, together we can build a more inclusive and equitable democracy that reflects the will of the people. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said that the new opportunities available to the youth in the country are unprecedented. He was interacting with NCC gadgets, NSS volunteers and performers in New Delhi, who are a part of this year's Republic Day program. Moody said NCC and NSS are organizations that connect the young generation with national goals and national concerns. He added that youth has energy, enthusiasm, passion and an innovation mindset. The Prime Minister said today the country is running campaigns like Startup India, Make in India and Atmanirpa Parat. Modi said India is working towards meeting global demands. A total of 901 police personnel will be awarded police medals on the occasion of the Republic Day 2023. Police medal for gallantry will be awarded to 140, President's Police Medal for Distinguished Service to 93 and Police Medal for Meritorious Service will be awarded to 668 police personnel. Union Home Ministry said among the majority of the 140 gallantry awards, 80 personnel from left-wing extremism affected areas and 45 personnel from Jammu and Kashmir region are being awarded for their gallant action. Among the personnel receiving gallantry awards, 48 are from Central Reserve Police Force, 31 from Maharashtra. 25 from Jammu and Kashmir Police, 9 from Jharkhand, 7 each from Delhi, Jadishka and PSF and the remaining from the other states and union territories. On account of the celebration of the 74th Republic Day, Governor of Nagaland has granted remission to 59 convicted prisoners lodged in the jails of Nagaland. Prisoners sentenced to 10 years and above have been given remission of 30 days, while 20 days remission to prisoners sentenced to 5 years to 10 years, 10 days to prisoners sentenced to 1 year to 5 years, and 5 days remission for prisoners sentenced up to 1 year. The remission order will take effect from tomorrow. Visali Z. Sangdam of Little Flower International School, Dimapu, Hansuja Meti of Delhi Public School, Dimapu, and Mombi Boroa, teacher of Army Public School, Rangapaha, have been selected to attend the Bariksha Pecharcha 2023, which is scheduled to be held on January 27 at Dogadoria Stadium in New Delhi. And now, 20 News, here are the main points again. President Draupadi Murmu greets every Indian at home and abroad on the eve of 74th Republic Day. 13th National Voters' Day is being celebrated today. New Services, Division of All India Radio, gets national award for contributions towards voters' awareness. Chief Electoral Officer V. Shashank Shekhar says society in Nagaland is inherently democratic, expresses hope that a true spirit of democracy will manifest in the electoral system. And 901 police personnel will be awarded police medals on the occasion of Republic Day. 
That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.